illegal migrants was called to a house because they was out here downloading porn. Take a look. We begin with some breaking news from Chambers County. Ten people were detained at a Baytown area home after deputies say child pornography was downloaded from that address. Fox 26's Sherman DeSell is joining us from this Creekside neighborhood live near I-10 with some details. Sherman. Yeah, we're right outside of the home here in Chambers County. Or I-10 is not too far from us. Neighbors say that they saw cops all down the street, including Homeland Security. I'm going to get out of the shot so Doug can show you the house in question. There were a lot of people detained in front of this house. There's pictures showing that they were handcuffed right in this front yard. These are the photos that the Chambers County Sheriff's Office posted earlier today on Facebook. Investigators say they executed an evidence search warrant at the home on the 5100 block of Dripping Springs Avenue. Avenue. They received a tip from the Internet Crimes Against Children database that child pornography was possibly downloaded here. And when they knocked on the door, the people inside, they refused to answer it. And that's when they forced entry and they found several individuals and a lot of restaurant supplies inside. Uh, all the people inside believed to be illegal immigrants, Asian and Hispanic. And forensic investigators seized several electronic devices, but it's unconfirmed exactly what was found. Captain Baker spoke to us. He wants to remind people about those type of downloads, the fact that they are illegal and monitored heavily. It may be an agency from another state share with us through the ICAC network to let us know that, hey, this IP address is in y'all's location. It has downloaded child pornography. And then we start our investigation from there and start trying to figure out who did it and usually end up executing a search warrant behind it because we're just not going to tolerate that in our county. So detectives do not believe the person who owns or leases this home was home at the time uh, all this took place. Uh, we're still waiting to hear more on the people that were detained and exactly what they found in this home. We know what they found. We, listen, let me tell you something. First of all, I have no love, zero love for anybody that is out here downloading kitty stuff at all. No love for any of those dudes. That's number one. They sat them out there like some criminals. One of the reasons I don't think that they can show their faces is because I think that they have to make sure that they actually charge them with a crime before they do so. So that's one reason why you may not see their faces. But the other thing is all of them are Asian and Hispanic and all of them are illegal migrants. All of them are illegal. And that's one of the reasons why you know that they fools. They've been doing that junk in their own country and they've been using the Internet. And so they've been out here, uh, you know, playing with little the, the wrong little stuff. And then they thought that they was going to come over here. But we got a little bit better technology. We're going to go ahead and send them folks to your house, get you get you some metal bracelets, uh, get you locked up. And hopefully we can get you on up out of this country. When people come into this country, a lot of times or even when people come into your house. And again, that's why you always got to pray for good energy. You got to make sure that you keep your house clean. You got to make sure that you wash your hands when you come in the house. All of that stuff, right? Don't track your shoes throughout the house. Make sure you leave them at the front door, all of that stuff. And the reason that you want to do that is because you don't know what kind of demons these people is bringing over into the space or in your space in particular, right? And so a lot of times they'll come over here, but they coming over here with vices. They coming over here with ways that they used to be over in their old country. They coming over here not understanding exactly how the laws and the rules work. And so they over here just downloading, doing stuff and being nasty, being nasty. I seen a video the other day. I'm not going to say what country they were in, but I seen a video the other day and it was a girl and she was dancing. I guess she was like on the stage and it was all men. It was like a it was like in a street and it was like a makeshift stage and it was some security guards that was protecting her. And it was all men that was surrounding her and they all had their camera phones up and they looked so desperate and thirsty and demonic and their eyes was bulging out of their head and stuff like that. And I was like. Jeez, oh, please, what the heck is going on over here? I'm telling you, people are bringing their own bad habits over into this country, illegal, living in a better neighborhood than you, and then they over there downloading and doing stuff that they're not supposed to do. Protect your kids. Protect your kids. Also on top of that, y'all, um, this video was going viral of a tow truck that was trying to pick up a car in the middle of traffic while the car was moving. Check it out.
viral video shows a tow truck driver attempting to attach to a car while the owner is driving it. It happened in San Francisco and the video is raising a lot of questions. NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith explains. It's very bizarre, yeah, and it's very, it's very scary. Jeff Furland stopped near Montgomery and Bush Streets when something odd caught his eye. I saw a Waymo with its hazards on, and then I saw a tow truck maneuvering to, from in front of me to come and make a tow. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to see this hook up with, uh, you know, a broken Waymo car and take off. And then he went for the car next to it, which had people in it, and started loading that. And they started backing up, and he started chasing him with the tow truck. Furlan pulled out his phone and caught most of it on video. I'm going to, this is the effective thing I can do right now is record this because it's wrong. He says he's never seen anything like it. He had the piece down. Uh, he maneuvered the forks under the front tires. He continued to chase them backwards with the forks down. Um, and then when he went to take off, as soon as he takes off, he's raising the arm. It all happened quickly. And the car behind them maneuvered around and passed, and that at that point they had a clear shot to get away from the tow truck, and they took it. We're just digging into this as we speak. I also understand that the San Francisco Police Department is aware of this incident, and we encourage members of the public to contact them if they've witnessed uh, anything around the behavior of this company. Earlier this year, City Attorney David Chu announced he suspended auto towing and affiliated companies from doing business with the city, including specialty towing and recovery. The truck in the video has specialty towing on the side, but it's unclear if it's with the suspended company because multiple companies use specialty in their name. So assuming this is specialty towing, this is the same towing company that our office previously moved to suspend and debar from receiving city contracts. We reached out to the company listed on the door of the truck by phone and email, but have not heard back with a comment in time. So, in my opinion, this ain't nothing but uh, attempted kidnapping. Uh, it could be a, a bevy of different things. One thing that it could be is an attempt for him to try to repossess a car. Um, I don't know, but listen, I believe that people, you know what I'm saying, they should pay their bills. And we can't assume that that's what this was. But the one thing that we do have to make sure that we do is abide by the law. And it's nothing that you can do when it comes to a person in the car and you trying to tow them in the middle of, of the street while the car is moving and trying to back up, you're trying to back up and pick up the car and tow them. In my opinion, this ain't nothing but attempted kidnapping. This is wild. This is absolutely wild. So this is a video that's basically going viral. I wanted to show you all this and keep you all informed of what's happening in these streets. Uh, also, on top of that, and last but certainly not least with quick hits, um, <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at this. I shouldn't. But we see this all too often. You know, I remember when I had joined this uh, this club. Call them health clubs. You can call them not a country club, but it was like a health club or whatever. And it was a very, very, very high-end one. And when we took the tour, one of the things that they said was they intentionally didn't put a basketball court inside of the, inside of the place. Check this out. Our top story this morning, uh, chaos breaking out at a local shopping area. Prince George's County police say a fight at a fitness center erupted into gunfire. And Fox News Melanie Olick is live in Green Arden this morning with more. Melanie. Hey, good morning, guys. So we're here at the Woodmore Town Center, and you can see behind me uh, people showing up for their morning workouts here at the L.A. Fitness, not realizing what we learned, that they're going to stay closed today because of what happened here last night. A gym full of people when gunfire rang out. Police say it began with an argument on the basketball court. Let's take you to video from uh, the scene last night. It was just before 8.30 p.m. Police say after the fight broke out between two men in the basketball court area, one pulled out a gun and shot the other, then fled in a white vehicle. The victim, a man said to be about 40 years old, was shot six to seven times. The first officers inside used their tourniquets to help the man until the scene was clear and it was safe for ambulance crews to go in. Talking to patrons this morning, uh, they say they're really sad about what feels like a violation of a safe space. I don't even know if I should come back <laughs> at this point when they do open because I feel like they really need to like, you know, investigate if there's anyone else in there with weapons in their locker or something. I don't, I had no idea. And I bring my kid here. There's a whole kids room. So, I, yeah, well, that's this world for you.
a little bit unnerving because even though it's basketball, we all, you know, we all have to go to work or to school the next day and stuff like that. So um, I would never imagine anything like that happening. Now, there were about 200 people inside and outside the gym after all of this happened, frantically trying to get to safety. Officers needed to clear a path for emergency crews. The man was taken to a local trauma center. At last word, he was in critical condition. We don't have a good description of the suspect for you. Uh, hopefully, because it was, it sounded like something in the basketball area, uh, you would think that people would know who they're playing with. So it's possible they've got good leads from witnesses. We just don't have a suspect description to give you. Uh, Prince George's County Police anyone who has information please give them a call you want me to give you the description i can give you the description possibly dreads uh, definitely fit the description of a black man uh, got into an argument on the court went back and forth somebody got fouled too hard started taking it too serious somebody went to the car went to their locker uh, got their pistol got emotional and, and it went left from there listen you don't see this on the on the golf court you don't see this on cricket you don't see when people playing tennis this don't happen. Again, let me go back to the original story. When I did a tour inside of this health club, one of the things that they did and they purposely did is they would not put a basketball court. They put every racquetball, volleyball, you can do anything that you wanted to do, swimming. But one thing that you wasn't going to do is you were not under any circumstances going to be playing basketball inside of that health club. And what did it do? It eliminated all of the bad actors. Yep, sure did. Eliminated the bad actors. And then people was getting mad. Oh, my God, I can't believe this almost seemed like it's racism. No, it's keeping the patrons safe because don't nobody want to be dealing with nobody that's walking up in there, wanting to hoop, and then next thing you know, everybody is getting all emotional about it. Ain't got time for it. Ain't got time for it. That's the blueprint. Whenever I see an L.A. fitness, I just keep on walking. Because I ain't got time for that. Everybody go up in there so that they can hoop and play basketball, especially in the wintertime. And it just go negative. It just go negative. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is your quick hits.